Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the F size package to uh, compute Cohen's D, which is the most commonly measured uh, type of effect size. This is a descriptive statistic, but we do talk about it in chapter six of our textbook, Basic Statistics for the Behavioral and Social Sciences uh, using R. And that's a chapter on comparing samples, mostly using parametric set tests. But uh, Cohen's D is often used in conjunction with, with um, t-tests. So I'm going to show you that here. So I'm going to require the F-size package. If you haven't already installed it, you would want to do that. Um, so we'll begin. Actually, I'm going to begin by attaching the hospital data set because that will save me some keystrokes. And um, if I type in hospital summary, we can take a look at some of what we have here. Um, specifically, I'd like to look at the mem before and the mem after. So um, the patient's memory, and again, if you refer to our book, um, we describe each of these variables and details. This is a memory test in hospital patients, and higher scores mean better memory. So at before the intervention, the average score of patients was 15.62, and afterwards it increased to 17. And um, I showed you how to do the dependent samples or paired sample t-test in a previous video, but here I'll show you how to compute the effect size. And um, we're gonna just use Cohen D which is from the effect size, F size package. And we put in our two variables separated by a comma. So we'll start with mem before, comma, mem after. And we need to let um, this package know that this was a paired or not independent sample. And um, when we hit enter, we'll get our result. The output from this is very, useful. Um, first of all, it gives you the computed Cohen's D, which again can be thought in terms of standard deviations um, from a standard normal distribution. Um, but they do a nice job of giving you an interpretation. So um, while memory did improve uh, after the intervention, qual qualitatively it was a small improvement and uh, the output also gives you the 95% confidence intervals of that effect size. So that's how you do this with a paired sample, um, but often we may not have that. We might want to look at, say, what is the effect of being readmitted within 30 days on ADL scores, like I showed you in the independent samples t-test demonstration, and to do that, it's not much different. We are going to put our continuous variable, ADL, comma, our grouping variable, which is pre-admit 30. Uh, and since there is no pairing, we don't need to give that option. And while there is a, an effect uh, that is observed as a result of being readmitted within 30 days on ADL scores, um, that is negligible. So this is an interpretation, a qualitative interpretation of uh, this D estimate, which is the calculation of Cohen's D. And I hope you found this video helpful.